Hi, Dr. Marcia Sirota here. Today I want to talk about addiction and one of the pitfalls in overcoming addiction, and that's self-criticism. In my practice, I've noticed that there is a vicious circle that can happen when people get involved in addiction, and that's because they do their addictive behavior, they become self-critical, and then they engage in the addictive behavior in order to deal with the self-criticism. I'll give you an example. So I have a patient who overeats. And after they overeat, they feel very bad about themselves. They're very self-critical. And then they self-soothe by overeating some more. So you can see how it's a vicious circle. They engage in the behavior, they criticize themselves, then they engage in the behavior some more, then they criticize themselves, and then more behavior over and over and over again. And so in order to stop the vicious circle, one of the things that has to happen is they have to stop criticizing themselves. So how do you do that? Well, I think a few things are, are required. The first thing is mindfulness. People need to slow down and pay attention so that they can just notice what's going on. If you're rushing around, it's very hard to see what's actually happening. It's hard to notice your feelings, it's hard to notice your needs, and it's hard to notice your behavior. So slowing down, tuning in, paying attention, being mindful is very helpful in overcoming addiction. It's the first step. But the next step is ruthless compassion because in order to really heal your addiction, you have to have the two parts of ruthless compassion. You have to have the ruthlessness, which is to be really honest with yourself, and you have to have compassion, which is not to beat yourself up for what you see. And the reason I love ruthless compassion is because it goes beyond mindfulness, because being mindful is noticing, but ruthless compassion is noticing with this very clear honesty and being very, very honest with yourself about what you're seeing, not being in any sort of denial, not avoiding any truth, really seeing what's there. And then the compassion piece is refraining from any negativity or self-criticism or judgment with what you see. So what you see, whatever it happens to be, you engage in an attitude of loving kindness towards yourself. And so there's no beating yourself up no matter what you see. And that's why ruthless compassion is so helpful for overcoming addiction because you can stop and be mindful and then you can really honestly see the truth without any risk of self-criticism. So taking the combination of mindfulness plus ruthless compassion into the equation helps you to overcome the self-criticism that comes along with engaging in addictive behavior. So let's say my patient who overeats starts to use both mindfulness and ruthless compassion. This is how they can overcome their addiction. So the first thing is that they can be in the middle of a binge and they can stop and notice because they're being more mindful. Oh, look what I'm doing. I'm in the middle of a binge. And then they can be ruthlessly honest with themselves and go, why am I binging now? Oh, it's because something happened and I had an emotion that I don't want to feel and then they can be compassionate with themselves and not beat themselves up for doing what they're doing. So instead of saying, stupid me for overeating, why do I have to overeat because of that? They can go, all right, that's what's happening. No judgment, I see it, but I am loving and kind toward myself. And then they can just make a choice. Maybe I don't wanna do this anymore. And they can stop the binge, they can put the food away, they can walk away, they can maybe go for a walk or do something else, something that's going to help them deal with the feeling, maybe tune in and spend some time really connecting with what happened and why they had that reaction rather than continue with the binge or rather than engaging in some self-flagellation. And then that enables them not to get caught up in that vicious circle. So ruthless compassion is the perfect combination with mindfulness in overcoming addiction. And it can really be applied to any addiction because you, with the mindfulness you tune in and with the ruthless compassion you really face the truth but you never beat yourself up for it. So you can't get into that vicious circle because you don't beat yourself up. So if my patient engages in ruthless compassion, they can stop themselves, be honest with what's going on and not get caught up in self-abuse and therefore they don't need to self-soothe with more food afterwards. And they've actually been practicing that and it's been working quite well for them. In fact, I've had patients who've lost significant amounts of weight by using mindfulness plus ruthless compassion in their overcoming of whatever kinds of addictions, whether it's eating or drugs or other addictions. So I think that it's really important for everyone, 
when they're practicing mindfulness to consider adding ruthless compassion because the ruthless piece, like I said, brings honesty and real radical honesty into the picture. So you don't avoid or deny any truth. And the compassion piece enables you to see those truths without criticizing yourself or judging yourself or thinking bad thoughts about yourself. Because whatever the truth is, you always apply loving kindness to yourself and allow yourself to see that truth just as the truth, not as the truth plus you're a bad person or you're a stupid person or you're you know a loser or whatever. It's a very kind approach with the honesty. And so it really can help you overcome any addiction because there is nothing to keep you in that vicious circle. Once you've seen the truth, then you can stop and make a different kind of choice as opposed to needing to attack yourself and then needing to soothe yourself because you've been attacked. So that's how the combination of mindfulness plus ruthless compassion can help you to break that vicious circle around overeating or any other addiction. And I really invite you to consider trying it if you are facing any type of addictive behavior in your own life or talk to your loved ones about it if you know someone who's struggling with addiction. I'm Dr. Marcia Sirota, talking about breaking the vicious circle around any type of addictive behavior by applying the principles of mindfulness and ruthless compassion. Stay tuned for more videos on mental health and wellness soon.